Sometimes you need a smooth transition to make it all work. Hey, what's going on? In this video, learn how to create custom seamless transitions for any video that you're working on. Transitions have their obvious uses. However, in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to make a rapid fire slideshow by using transitions. So drop a like on the video and let's get started. Okay, so for our first transition, we have this rotation and scale animation we're going to recreate. Here we have our two pieces of footage we want to transition between, and this is going to be our point of transition right here, where it changes from one piece of footage to the other. The entire transition is going to be done with adjustment layers, so start by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. I'll change the color of the layer so we can keep track of it better. Now highlight the adjustment layer, go up to Effect, Distort, Transform, then go into the Effect Controls panel, uncheck Use Composition's Shutter Angle, and set the shutter angle for Transform to 180. This is going to add blurriness to the motion of our transition. Next, we'll do our animation, so go on the timeline a little bit before the point of transition, go up to the Effect Controls panel, set a keyframe for scale and rotation, then move to the point of transition, we'll set the scale to 400 and the rotation to negative 45. Highlight all the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, then open up the graph editor tool and what we want to do is take the curve and move it all the way to the right so that the animation is really fast right at the point of transition. Now we'll just change the length of our adjustment layers to match our keyframes, duplicate the layer, and put the duplicate to be right after the original on the timeline. We want the ending of the transition to be a bit longer, so I'll stretch out the length of the second adjustment layer, then take the keyframes and bring them to the end of it as well. The second part of the transition is going to be a continuation of the first, so go back to the first keyframes, set the scale down to 50, rotation to 45, move to the end keyframes, set the scale back to 100, and rotation back to 0. Now highlight the keyframes, open the graph editor tool, and bring the curves all the way to the left this time, again because we want the speed of the animation to be really fast right at this point of transition. You can see that our transition seamlessly follows through now, however we have all this empty space around the second piece of footage since it's starting at a smaller scale. To fix that, highlight the second adjustment layer, go up to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. Make sure the Motion Tile is above the Transform and the Effect Controls panel. Set the Output Width of the Motion Tile to 200, Height to 400, then enable Mirror Edges. Now we have this really smooth transition and all of the empty space is properly filled. Alright, creating transitions is cool and all, but it takes creativity and of course, time. You can save yourself all of that by using our 600 Transitions Pack for After Effects and Premiere. Easily preview transitions in the Motion Duck extension and then apply it right to your project with one click. Then all you do is line it up with your cut and you have an awesome transition for your edit that your clients and even your dog will love. Be sure to check out the full pack with our links in the description below. Next we're going to add an RGB effect on top of our transition animation. To put this RGB effect on our transition, start by creating a new adjustment layer, change it to be the length of our whole transition, highlight it, then go up to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and Effect, Stylize, Emboss. For the tint, set the first color to a nice bright blue, set the second color to a bright red, and set the direction of the emboss to 90 degrees. Now go to the start of the layer, set a keyframe for Relief, set Relief to 0, go to the point of transition, change Relief to 15, then go just before the end and set relief back to zero. Highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, go into the graph editor tool, and drag the second curve all the way to the left to smooth out the animation. Lastly, set the mode of the adjustment layer to hard light so that it overlays onto our transition, then go to the motion tile, increase the output width and height by just a little bit, and enable mirror edges. This is because the RGB effect can get cut off at the edges of the screen sometimes. Now you can see at the point of the transition we have these red and blue highlights giving off an RGB effect. Now I'm going to show you how to take this transition and turn it into a pre-comp that you can put over any pieces of footage you want to create a rapid fire promo. The first thing we need to do is take our work area, resize it to be the same size as our transition, right click it, and select trim comp to work area. Then highlight all the adjustment layers, right click, select pre-compose, We'll name it to Zoom Transition, click OK, then enable Continuously Rasterize on the Pre-Comp layer. 
Now go on the timeline to the point of the transition, right click the pre-comp, go to markers, add marker, then double click the marker, add the word cut to the comments. Now we know exactly where the transition happens in our pre-comp. Now we can take this pre-comp, copy it with control C, then go into this composition where we have a bunch of photos lined up, paste in the pre-comp with control V, then all we need to do is line up the marker right in between the two photos and now we have this transition applied to them. We can simply repeat this process of pasting in our pre-comp and lining the cut marker up with the edges of the photos and now we've made this rapid fire promo with almost no effort at all. Next we'll do a slideshow style transition by using the motion tile effect. Here we have another two photos and our RGB effect that we made before on the timeline and we'll start by making a new adjustment layer resize it to be the same length as the RGB effect, then go up to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. Enable Mirror Edges for the Motion Tile, set a keyframe for Tile Center at the start of the adjustment layer, then go to the end of the adjustment layer, and increase the Y value until the image goes through one full cycle just like this. Now highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, then in the graph editor, pull both sides of the curve to the center like this to smooth out the animation. And just like that, we have this simple and smooth slideshow transition. For this last transition, we're going to be using the optics compensation effect for this distorted animation. Here we have our zoom animation from our first transition, and what we're going to do is go in and remove the rotation animation from the transform effect on the adjustment layers. That way it's just the zoom effect and no rotation. Next, we'll create a brand new adjustment layer. Set its duration to start a bit before the transition, and then end a bit after it like this. Then go up to Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation. Enable Reverse Lens Distortion on the Optics Compensation. Set a keyframe for Field of View at the start of the adjustment layer. Move to the point of transition. Bring the Field of View up to around 140 or so, then move to the end and bring it back down to zero. Highlight the keyframes, make them easy ease, then in the Graph Editor tool, smooth out the animation by taking the right curve and dragging both sides of it all the way to the left like this. Now we have this awesome distorted camera lens transition. Remember to check out our Seamless Transitions pack for Premiere and After Effects. The links are available down below. And remember, always be creating.